Ignite Humanity Live, talking about ways to ignite humanity. And I'm your host, Lady J.B. Owen, and it's such a pleasure to be here because, well, we are igniting humanity around the globe, and we are coming to you from Los Angeles, and our guests are global, coming to you from all over the world to share with you about ways to ignite humanity. And these are people who are moving the needle in industry, in education, in politics, in humanity, in self-development, but really the mandate for each and every one of them is that they've had an Ignite moment in their lives. Something has happened to them to move them forward in doing something for more than just themselves, but helping others. They've decided that through their own personal journeys and experiences, they want to share their wisdom and their blessing and the things that they have learned so that you can learn from them and maybe not make the same mistakes, but instead move the trajectory of your life in a positive, more beneficial way through the sharing of heartfelt stories. Now, the mind, the body, the all kinds of things are happening in our physiology when we're telling stories. And we've been doing it since the beginning of time, way back in the campfires, talking about stories, instilling values and sharing qualities and history. And, and um, I even want to say like education and certain things in our, in our ecosystem has really been told through stories and the way that we share stories. And now today, more than ever, we need to tell our stories and people need to hear the truth behind the truth. I like to say the real moment, the moment that changed it all. And when you ask somebody, what's their Ignite moment? They always have an answer. In fact, many of us have multiple Ignite moments we can think about in parenting and in relationships and in business and all kinds of different ways that our Ignite moments have changed us. And these Ignite moments are being shared on this show. And we're doing it because we want you to know that if they can do it, you can do it. If somebody can take an Ignite moment that may have been difficult or troublesome and turn it into the power and the passion and their mission, then you can do it too. And having a mission and a passion and going after and living your purpose is really going to ignite humanity. And so we're talking about things like that so that you get inspired and you feel fulfilled and you decide that you wanna go within to ignite your life and that's going to ignite someone else. We're doing all kinds of things to ignite humanity and that means we're building schools overseas in third world countries and we're doing it one brick at a time. And we want you to share that experience with us by making a beautiful donation to ignitehumanity.life backslash donate where one dollar buys one brick and every single brick goes towards building our schools, 35,000 bricks for our school that we're building in Indonesia and your dollar can help build that school. So go check it out and share a little bit and ignite a child's life. All right, well, we have a great guest and we are live, like I said, on location in Los Angeles, doing some fun stuff with some amazing people. I have been filming all day and I'm still elated with the number of guests that are showing up and the way people are talking about igniting humanity. And every single guest is saying something different in their own way, but guess what? The common denominator is the same. We all have the ability to ignite one another. We all have a tool and a technique and something inside of us that's very uh, special to us that allows us to spark in someone else the ability for them to do the same. So we're gonna talk about ignition and spark and rocket fuel and all those fun things that get you going and excited in your life. Well, let's get started. My guest, so happy to have him here, Jonathan Ellis, the author of a fabulous book called Uncomplicated. And I gotta say, life's complicated, and so reading a book about uncomplicated, we're excited. All right, Jonathan, welcome to the show. Thank you very much for having me, it's an honor. Yeah, and I'm so happy to have you. So uncomplicated, like a big word. And it's, you know, when we think of uncomplicated, I don't know, I automatically think of complicated, but I'm sure you have a much better definition of it. Well, most people from what I have found complicate success, complicate the fulfillment and the happiness of their life. So that's what that book is about, is just telling you it does not have to be complicated. You know, whether that's life, whether that's business, home life, raising kids, there are challenges all along the way with everything, yet it doesn't have to be complicated. You know, just align yourself with the right people, find somebody to mirror and match that has done what you want to do, mimic what they do, and you will achieve same or similar results. It's really quite simple. So let's do it again. Find somebody who is doing what you want to do. 
Correct. So look for masters, look for mentors, look for people that are just a few steps ahead of you. Is that what you suggest? Absolutely. You find somebody that has, is a few steps ahead of you, just like you said. I had a chat with somebody recently and they said, you know, I don't feel like I can teach somebody because I'm not that far ahead of them. And I told this person, I said, you are ahead. Right. Help bring them to your level. And I also believe that what you most need to learn, you do it by teaching. You learn so much faster. Right. When so, you teach someone else. When absolutely. You when you teach somebody else. So it's you find the person that can help get you there, even if they're just a few steps. Now, you know, sometimes your mentor may be light years, so to speak, ahead of where you're at. That's perfect. But it does not always require that. Sometimes it's just somebody that's a few steps ahead of you. Now, I'm a big cyclist. I love to cycle. I've been blessed to cycle across Canada, 10,000 kilometers. There's this idea of drafting, mm -hmm. you know, drafting behind somebody, using their momentum to pull you forward. Would you say that's a bit similar, getting that draft of somebody, that mentor to pull you forward? Oh, without a doubt. Without a doubt. You, you get in line with them. And it keeps that wind resistance off of you, so to speak, in this example. And you can go so much further and with less effort, too. Mm -hmm. That's less the effort, thing. With, right? That's, that's it with drafting. And when you, you trip and fall or you're not sure or you don't know, those people ahead of you, they're just even one step ahead of you. They can help you. They can support you. They can give you some guidance and some tools and some trajectory to just get there a little bit easier. I always like to say, you know, less, less money, less time, right. less effort. But you're really actually utilizing their skills of getting there. So one way to uncomplicate is find somebody who's doing what you want to do and let them help you get there. No doubt. That is my biggest dream in life right now other than parenting and, and being a husband is being a coach to people being a mentor to people and helping them level up yeah you know I'm all about helping people from the level they're at now get to the level where they know they should be at and it is all about mentorship it's all about finding somebody to link arms you know, we talk about Ignite Moments, and I love the philosophy that if you've been through something and you've gotten through something, then you've obviously learned something from it. Absolutely. And so those Ignite Moments also help pull you forward because if somebody has had a trial and a tribulation and they've overcome it in a way that it now serves them, they too can lend their experience to help mm -hmm. pull you forward. So your book, Ignite Moments, so many things are just really not making it complicated for people. That, that's right. Sometimes... It is as simple as somebody needs to be inspired. They need somebody to come alongside of them, grab them by the arm and say, you know what? I believe in you. Sometimes people need a little more than that. But unfortunately, one thing I have found is a lot of people don't have that person that says, hey, I believe in you. Let's go. And that's all they need. They just need somebody to come along and inspire them to the next level to bring out the inner greatness inside of themselves. Well, great idea when it comes to inspiring people because when we have somebody who believes in us, it seems like we rise to the occasion Absolutely. a bit more, right? And and believing in people can come in many ways. I say that I believe you. I show up and I help you. You know, I'm, I'm there for you in the stands. I'm cheering you on. And that belief system really enables people, empowers them, ignites them to feel like they can do it. Without a doubt. You know, our life is full of BS, belief systems. <laughs> you must have the proper belief system. And when you're down on yourself, when you're down in life, find somebody that will pull you along and ignite you and inspire you. Say, you know what? That's not who you are. That's not where you need to be at. Let's go. I believe in you and I will help you get there. That's what it's about. And I feel compelled to say this. It often and very well is free. You don't need to find or pay thousands of dollars, although we are both in the coaching and mentoring right. business. And so not to downgrade that, <laughs> but my point is there is mentors everywhere. Right. And there is free ability and access to mentors. And I'll be the first person to say, you know, I really wanted to mentor with somebody. And I put up my hand and said, I'd like to mentor with you. Can I give you a service? Can I do a trade? Right with you. Can I take my gifts and skills and give them to you and in turn you mentor me? And Absolutely. so for people who are sitting there feeling like I can't afford a mentor, I don't have money to buy a mentor, you and I can both agree there is lots of ways to mentor in books 
like uncomplicated and ignite books in podcasts in um, YouTube uh, at the library like come on right we can go to the library and get great access to those things that can pull us forward without a doubt you know part of the beauty of a book is you do get to touch lives that you will likely never know about mm -hmm. Uh, we have programs and shows in Thought Provoking Change that I reiterate to the people that are there. I'm like, we are touching far more people than what's just here. A lot of them we'll never even know about. But that's not the point is to know, hey, I touched this many people. Right. It's to truly touch them. Right. And that is the purpose is to help them ahead. And like you said, yes, I am all about coaching and that is how we make money. However, there are a lot of ways to circumvent that. Right. And don't you love coaching somebody when they get to the point that they fly the nest and be free That's and it. they soar? That's yeah. It. I mean, I feel the same. If you can help somebody along the way and then get them to the place where they are self-sufficient so much so that they are ignited, guess what they do? They go out and ignite someone else. Reciprocity. Right. Absolutely. All right. Uncomplicated. We've unpacked the first one. What's the second one idea? We unpacked the mentorship. What was the next one? The second idea is to just sometimes you have to release people from your life you know I have several people that I mentor with that it is actually family situations that they're in and one of the beauties that we have is family of choice and family of birth you know sometimes unfortunately for everybody the family of birth is not they pull you down more than anything and the beauty is you can have that family of choice Thankfully, thanks be to God, I do have a great family that I came from, yet I do have friends, some here, yeah. that I look at them as family. And it's just great to surround yourself with those that believe in you, that you can believe in. And, you know, I live a life of slingshot. Mm. My thing is you grab somebody, you slingshot back, and you propel them beyond you. Wow, I and then they the reach back frog, and they right? do it. Yeah, that's a great, you call the slingshot, I call it the leapfrog. Like that's fantastic, right? We want people in our lives to leapfrog and slingshot beyond because what's gonna happen, right? When somebody slingshots or leapfrogs, what are they gonna do? They're gonna reach back and bring you forward, that's right. right? That's that, right. Yeah, it's a really incredible experience. So you want people to ex, uh, uh, excel. You want people to achieve. I, I did a great interview with one of our other authors, and she did talk about when you wish well on others, you're really actually wishing well for yourself. If you wish ill on others, you're actually also doing the same. Right. Again, that's reciprocity. It's what you put out comes back. Mm -hmm. It's a, a, a big circle, essentially. And the more that you give, you will never outgive your abilities. You give Good and point. it will come back to you. Yeah. It just will. Whether we're talking money, health, finance, you know, whatever, it will come back to you. You will never outgive God what he's given to you. You know, happen. one of the principles of igniting humanity is give first and give all you can. And I think that's a really important distinction because a lot of times we say give and I've really wanted to make it be give first. Mm. Because when you give, you get. Mm -hmm. And when you give, you get so much back. And so I love the idea of what you just said. And then talk about give all you can. Because there's no, there's no benefit from giving with a hook, you know, right. or giving with a caveat. And so there's a lot of power in what you just said, giving first and giving all you can. I love that. Really great, great advice. Okay, people are listening. They're taking notes. What's next? Man, I tell you, it's, again, I am such a firm believer of just finding those that are going to push you forward. Yeah. That is really where it boils down to. Finding that person that will ignite you. Finding that group that will ignite you. I had somebody recently ask me, Jonathan, do you have just one mentor? And I don't. Right. I don't believe that there's any one person that can fulfill everything you're looking for. Right. And you grow out of mentors. You, you, you And I don't even say grow out of them. You excel to the next level of your own. And it's natural. Absolutely. Somebody was asking me about how long do I want somebody coming to me for mentorship? And of course, that depends on each person. Some people are real quick. Some people, it takes a little bit of time. I find it interesting when somebody pushes out that you need to be mentored by them for long periods right. of time. Why? Right. If you're effective, they're moving on. Right. And that is the whole goal is to get them in, get them equipped, get them inspired and get them on their way. 
Right. And also I find like when people say to me, oh, I've been mentored by somebody for so many years. Well, first of all, I think, okay, is your mentor doing their job? But right. second of all, I'll go to your other point, whereas they become like family. Mm -hmm. You know, a mentor can really become like your family of choice. And that's a really powerful thing that you surround yourself with people that are igniting you. No doubt. And the family of choice is huge. Like you just said, I for one get bonded with the people that I work with. Me too, yeah. And I know <laughs> I know we're not supposed to, but it just kind of happens. Right. When you're in this line of work and you care, and it's about far more than just, hey, where's the money? Let's right. get paid. You really care and you want to see them not just reach that goal that they hired you for, not just get to that point, you want to see the evolution of what comes after that. You want to see where they go beyond where you help them get to. And it's just, like you said, you become like family with yeah, the people. Absolutely. You're really invested right. in their success. Okay, well, let's talk about you. Who was a mentor in your life that pulled you forward? Who was somebody that actually helped you become who you are today? My father is one of them. He always believed in me. He was always there for me, always rooting me on always helping me in any way that I could. And just being able to be blessed enough to have a father that would do that is, again, something that I give thanks to God for. And him, he doesn't understand a lot of what I do right now, which is okay. But to have him just come along and say, son, I believe in you. I love you. Keep going. It's great to see what you're doing. That really touched me. You know, I've had various other mentors along the way. And somebody that I sat under recently, I was in a VIP session with him, and he looked at me, and this is after 19 years of entrepreneurship. Hmm. You know, I have confidence in myself in pretty much every way. However, he hit on one spot that I didn't have the confidence on myself. And he looked at me and he said, Jonathan, who has made you feel less than? Wow. And seriously, I lost it. Hmm. I'm six foot four and 250 pounds. I'm not supposed to cry. I'm not supposed to. I did. <laughs> and when he brought that out of me, and I, I realized that there are a lot of things that did made me not believe in who I was, that really changed a lot for me. Well, thank you for sharing, because I bet you there's so many people who are listening who could say exactly the same thing. There is someone in my life that made me feel less than. I can think of a time I wanted to do something and someone said, you'll never make it, give up, you won't even get there, don't even try. And the interesting thing is, Jonathan, I stopped. I actually took their advice and I never tried again. And it wasn't until I was 49 years old, I thought about, what do I want to achieve when I'm 50? And I was like, I want to go after that dream that that person robbed for me there when I was go. 17. But it is interesting how there are people who tell us it's not possible. Mm -hmm. And number one rule of Ignite Humanity is anything and everything is possible. How do we create possibilities in people's minds? So how did you get through that feeling, that, you know, that emotion that came up for you? When I finally faced it, because it was actually a family member that brought that out. And when I faced it, yes, it was very hard. It was very challenging. But to have him sit there and look at me and say, Jonathan, you are more than what you think you are. Mm. You offer more. You bring more to the table than what you believe you do. I, I will tell you that very moment, my life truly changed. Mm. I realized that this is beneath me. It really is. And just leveling up and going there and just having the confidence in myself in every way to pull it off and to make it happen. You know, there are challenges along the way with everything we do, mm -hmm. but yet I'm, I'm one, let's, let's put on the gloves and let's go. I'm ready to take on that challenge and overcome that challenge because then you realize that you are more than a conqueror. You are more than what you ever thought you were when you're facing that giant, that unsurmountable giant that you know is going to beat you down and you come out on top. And let's loop that all around and put a nice bow on it because you just shared something. Was it your one of your relatives that said this mm -hmm. to you? They weren't a professional mentor, I'm sure. They probably were somebody who was mentoring you in their own way, which means, folks, 
everyone can be a mentor. Absolutely. Right? You have the ability to inspire somebody versus tear them down. Absolutely. And I think that's the power of igniting humanity. You have the choice, the pivotal moment where you decide, I could be angry at you, I could resent you, I could take revenge upon you versus I can have compassion for you, I can instill hope in you, and I can lift you up. And I was really grateful to hear that somebody did that for you. And they didn't have to be a trained professional that you paid Absolutely. for. Absolutely. You know, having empathy is a big thing. Realizing that everybody comes from different areas, everybody comes from different backgrounds, and working to relate with what they're going through, you see it in a different light. And you realize that no matter where you came from, no matter where they came from, you can always lift that person up. You can always accelerate that person and get them to that next level. It is all about inspiring, inspiring people and igniting that humanity. It's a fascinating thing because sometimes when people do do us wrong or sometimes we have employees or team members that make mistakes or we see our kids, you know, flub up, we instantly want to go in with like telling them what they did wrong. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's... It's, it's amazing to see if you kind of come in the other way around and show them how they could do it differently next time, give them the power to make a better decision, actually have empathy and compassion for the fact that maybe they made a mistake or they're still learning. That really makes people feel better about themselves. Without a doubt. You can answer a hundred questions right then answer a question wrong. Right. And it's like, that's what everybody focuses on. Right. Forget the previous hundred, let's focus on that one. Right. Why not come in and say, you did a great job. You are amazing. Right. You are incredible. Right. And bring in the shortcoming. Right. The shortfall. Bring that in in a loving, in a positive way. You'll also hit their mind in a different way, hit their heart in a different way, right. and they'll be far more receptive. Right, and you know, there's some statistics of the famous Les Brown, a good friend of mine, talks about for every negative comment, you need like 30 positive mm -hmm. comments to out, you know, counteract that negative comment. Can you imagine just how much more effort 30 positive comments to just negate one negative? What if we just didn't do that negative one? To, what if we that's didn't it. complicate it? <laughs> that's, that's it. Just be positive. Yeah. I mean, life will get you down. I don't care how positive you are. This challenges will come in. But the more positive you are, it almost erases the negative negativity from your mind. Right. It almost makes you forget, I'm supposed to be negative toward this situation. Just be positive. Keep it good. And when you have the challenges, finding the positivity of it, there's somebody in your life that can find it for you. Yeah. And, you know, I like posinims. That's one of my words. So when there's something that's, I call it a neginim. So a negative word, like I can't, I shouldn't. Mm -hmm. What if I don't? I think those are neginims. And I'm always encouraging everyone I work with, my authors, my kids, my clients, they'll say something to me like, I don't think I can do it or it's not possible. Or, you know, it's very complicated or it's very hard. And I'll say, well, how do we posinim that? And it's amazing when you ask someone to posinim something, they they become very solution oriented. Mm -hmm. They become very innovative. And I think that your book is really about that. It's the innovative side, the pausing them side of ways that we can do things to empower our lives. Absolutely. Just look at the outcome. One of the things that changed my life was reshaping my subconscious. Mm. What will go wrong? That's easy to answer, mm. unfortunately. <laughs> Instead Lots. of looking at what could go wrong, what could go right? Right. And when you look at that and you focus on that, you'll find yourself taking more chances. You'll find yourself believing in yourself more, in your abilities more, and it's going to work out. Yeah, and look at this. I mean, how many times do we drive the car and we get there successfully versus the one time we get in a fender bender? How many times do we put milk in the glass and it's all okay versus the one time we spill the glass? And yet we focus on those one times, mm -hmm. not realizing that I just did that 55 other times and it was super successful. And so a great, great addition to reframing the mind and thinking about what is possible and what we're capable of and what we can do. And I agree with you, that shift in knowledge is really going to ignite our lives, other people's lives, and ignite humanity. Without a doubt. 
it will give you the inspiration that you need to get to where you're headed to. Yeah, and we're all headed somewhere, right? We are all headed somewhere. To the goodness of ourselves and others. That's right. I'm right. We're having fun here. <laughs> everything that you are looking for, everything that you believe in, everything you desire is within you already. It's there. It's just pulling it out. You can have a missing masterpiece of your life or you can realize it's not a missing masterpiece. It's a hidden masterpiece. It's there. Yeah. It's already with you. And isn't it great when you talk about how to be the, you know, the master of your masterpiece? I mean, something like that, right? That's right. You just have to stay focused and stay on point. You got to keep going with it. And it's going to come to fruition. It will come true for you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm so grateful. Today is a little bit about, we're talking about inspiration. We're talking about awakening. We're talking about solutions, ideas. Any last thoughts you'd like to leave our viewers with? Always believe in yourself. Everything that you dream possible, it's possible. Yeah. Everything that you question as far as possibility, it too is possible. You know, Disneyland at one point was nothing more than a man named Walt's idea. Mm -hmm. Yet, years after his death, we all go and enjoy Disney World and Disneyland. We enjoy the movies. Mm -hmm. It was all just a thought. And he didn't let off. He stayed with it, stayed consistent, and he and his team pulled it off. Yeah. Same thing with the hopes, the dreams, the desires that everybody watching this program has. They are within reach. They are within grasp. Mm. And stay focused. You're going to get there. Thank you so much. Such great words. I appreciate having you on the show. You. Always a blessing to chat with you. Absolutely. I always enjoy chatting with you as well. Thank you. Well, as you can see, it doesn't have to be complicated, folks. You can make it actually very simple and very rewarding the way that you step into your life, finding mentors, finding ambition and desire and passion and purpose. Those things lead you forward and they get you excited and enthusiastic about what you are capable of doing and surround your Yourself with people who support you. Find that family tribe that's really going to be there for you for the full essence of what it is you are here to do. We all have a mission and a purpose. We all have what I call a divine assignment and it's been given to you and nobody else. So you don't have to rush. You don't have to worry. You don't have to fear that anyone's going to take your divine assignment away because it's yours. And in that divine assignment and you doing that and stepping into it and learning how to unpack it and unfurlow it and blossom it into who you're meant to be, that divine assignment is going to ignite people's lives. So don't sit on the couch and sit back and worry and I don't know. Go out and get some of these books, a wonderful book called Uncomplicated. Of course, Ignite has all of their books, Igniting People's Lives. You can go to ignitehumanity.life and check out all of our books. You'll find out some more about Jonathan. We'll share that in the feed and also let you know that when you ignite your life, you ignite someone else and that's going to ignite humanity. Well, if you would want to watch this episode again, go to ignitehumanity.life backslash watch and you can watch it for free. Our entire platform is free and accessible to you. You just have to sign in. And we do that on purpose, folks, because we want you to have free access to this content and we don't charge you anything or try to retarget you or sell you into anything. This truly is my desire to ignite humanity and using the gifts and talents that I have, I want to bring forth ideas to you and invite my great friends to come to be a part of this show so that one thing, just one thing that you hear from one of my guests moves the needle for you. It doesn't have to be every show and every guest and every idea. It just has to be one. And one thing can make a massive difference. It can spark change. It can ignite transformation. It can be the rocket fuel you need to reach your dreams. All right. Well, I hope that was inspiring. Big hugs and kisses. Go out and ignite your life. Now, more than ever, we need to come together to connect with one another. We need to feel the truth in who we are and let go of everything that's happened in the past. We need to empower every person on the planet and awaken hearts, enliven souls, come together, laugh, play, rejoice, connect, create, and love. It's time to ignite humanity.
We want you to be a part of something that will impact the future for everyone. We want you to tell your story, share your Ignite moment, show people who you truly are. Be a part of igniting humanity and making a difference in the world and all of our futures.